everybody. Today on Boosters Be Opened, we're going to open a box of beta. No, I'm just kidding. I'm broke. It's going to be Guilds of Ravnica. But hey, we can all dream. We can all have hopes and dreams, right, Rudy? Okay, so we got a box of Ravnica here. Guilds of Ravnica. Return to the return of Ravnica. So let's check it out. Hopefully we get some shocks. Hopefully we get some good cards. Um, I did go to a pre-release for this set. It was pretty fun. I mean, they gave you a guild to work with, and that's kind of what you ended up with. So, um, it's not bad. It's pretty cool so far, but let's just jump right into it. Let's see what amazing cards we're going to get out of this box of beta right here, okay? Maybe we'll get like a Mox Lotus or, you know, a, <laughs> a Mox Lotus. And that was a card, though, actually. Um, that was totally a thing. Uh, I think it was like unglued or something a long time ago, or un unhinged or something. So anyway, here we are. We got this box, and we're gonna we're gonna destroy it. We're gonna crush this box. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna kill it. We're gonna take names and kick ass and all that good stuff. So, Guilds of Ravnica. Here we go. Right, and I got my trusty. You know, I, I learned from the best. There's the guy that opens the cards and he's got like the surgical gloves on. I have no idea why he does it, but I did it because why the fuck not? You know what? Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to say that on a YouTube video. Sorry. But in any event, we have boosters. Oh, oh, you're not supposed to be able to see that, are you? I have to open it like really, really dramatically and surreptitiously and... and and, oh, oh, it's an ad card. Okay. Oh, it's a guild gate. <laughs> it's a swift blade vindicator. Well, there's our rare. I guess the rare is in the back. Go figure. Not surprised there. Double strike, vigilance, trample. All right, then. Pretty cool card. Let's just get back to the way I normally do this. Okay, so we have some commons. We have rubble belt boar. Uh, Skyline Scout, Spinal Centipede, Crushing Canopy, Artful Takedown, Sumala Wood Sheeper. Those are all our commons. Devious Cover Up, Rhizome Lurcher, Sky Knight Legionnaire, and Dark Blade Agent. So those will be our commons in this group. Uh, looks like we have Night Vale Predator. Undercity Necrolisk and Hellkite Whelp. Didn't quite level up to be a full Hellkite, he's just a Whelp. So, moving on, next pack. Let's see what we got going on. I did actually get some fetches in the pre release. I got a fetch. Um, that was about it, though. I didn't get anything that was too amazing. So, there's our commons. Let's see, we got Hitchclaw Recluse. Here we go. And then we've got Dowser of Lights, Sonic Assault, Golgari Locket, Command the Storm, ooh, okay, Mephitic Vapors, I believe I'm saying that correct, uh, Luminous Bonds, Renati Shield Mate, cool, uh, Justice Strike, Inspiring Unicorn, and Thought Erasure is the last of our uncommons. And it looks like Thousand Year Storm. Ooh, we got our first Mystic. Uh, Thousand Year Storm. That's pretty cool. And another Gilgate. All right, so not bad, right? At least we got a Mythic. At least we got one Mythic. Let's hope we get like 10 more. Imagine imagine that box. Like you just open it up and every pack's a Mythic card. You'd be the, you'd be the most popular kid in the block with one of those, right? So now we've got this these. All right, so we're going to do Barging Sergeant, 10th District Guard, Disdainful Stroke, v Vigor Spore Worm, Burglar Rat, Sonic Assault, Rhizome Lurcher again, Fresh Braced Recruit. Look at that guy. He's like, he doesn't realize he just fought her. He's just going to end up, you know, right on the front lines and then squished by a, a giant centipede or a, a worm or something. Um, Mephic Vapors again, Blade Instructor, here's our common, Kroll, Harpooner, uh, Murmuring Mystic, Pilfering Imp, 
And our rare is the blood operative. All right, then. That's, that's a thing. All right, so hopefully we can uh, get all this taken care of. Uh, let's go to the next one. I'm going to start speeding through the commons because, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you guys, you know, you, you probably know what the commons do. I mean, there's our Demir Informant of another boar, Scout, Wild, Ceratok, Child of Night. That's a reprint. New art. I like it. You used to use that card a long time ago in a vampire deck. A Demir Locket. I don't really care for the Lockets. I mean, they had a lot better uh, Signets a long time ago. These are okay, I guess, but... Honestly, signets are better in my opinion. Candlelight Vigil, Piston Fist Cyclops, um, Pitiless Gorgon, and we got Con. This is our uncommon. So Conclave Cav Cavalier, Cavalier, excuse me. Electrostatic Field, a weird split card. Those are always hard to play. Hey, a Fetch Land or a, a Shock Land. How about that, huh? That's good stuff. So we got our first Shock. Yeah, it's like, we're, what, seven, eight bucks now? They used to be worth a lot more, but while you figure reprints, obviously this this set reprints a lot of stuff. So let's hit the next uh, next pack here and see what we can come up with. How's that? All right, so I don't know why this guy wears the gloves. I, you know, I guess maybe if I was handling, like, Mox rubies and... And fancy stuff like that. I, I sure, I guess you don't want to damage a car, but it's I don't know. It's so weird. I watch them with gloves. And I'm like, okay. Um, all right, we got a split card. Invert, invent. Okay. Obviously, it's an is it themed split card because of the color. Uh, the dual colors. Uh, necrotic wound. Inescapable blaze. Assassin's trophy. This card's going for some money right now. Apparently, people are using this for a variety of different reasons and formats and we got a foil uh healer's hawk eh, what else foil and whatever gilgates and other stuff uh next pack let's see what we got going on here now, there's all this controversy going on with magic i mean i'm sure if you're watching this channel you probably watch all the other youtube channels with people that, that do magic cards um there's a lot of controversy with the whole hasbro direct thing i mean they just like they put it up there and it sold out in like one day uh or not even i don't think it lasted that long and apparently people bought all the all the things and they were listed them on ebay for hundreds of dollars like people usually do and um, it's like you know a lot of people are saying this could be the death of the magic we've always enjoyed because you know wizard could just throw out cards out there and then just make it so it's hard to get them and stuff which is kind of Kind of a really serious bummer if that if that happens. Uh, okay, so here's our comments. We got a demolition or demotion. I'm sorry, demotion. Enchant creature, enchanted creature can't block. It's activated. Activated abilities can't be activated. Uh, sprouting renewal. Choose one. Create a two-two green and white elf knight creature token with vigilance. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Return X target creatures. Of a creature type of your choice to their owner's hand. And it looks like I got niv -Mizzet, The The is it dragon. Well then. niv -Mizzet, There he is. Rar. He's going to make you do an algebra equation and have to solve it. Or else, you know. Those weird shows where you like got to have to do a thing before the timer runs out. And get you know. Dropped in a pit of slime or something. Easy thing. Better solve your op. You'd be that guy, making you solve your algebra equations. Alright, so let's open up another pack of cards. I'm going to try to go a little bit faster with these. So we're going to say Take take Heart, Radical Idea, Wandering Goblin, Loxodon Restore. We're talking some serious elephant elephant business going on here. Maybe they're trying to appeal to... I know the Loxodons are, are elephant people, but maybe they're trying to appeal to Hindus or something. You know, like, um, what's the guy's name? Like, That's the elephant god there. Uh, Generous Stray. Oh, it's a little cat. That's cute. Okay. Spinal Centipede. Okay. I'm going to crawl up your spine. Deadweight, Undercity Uprising, Parhelion Patrol, another locket, which I don't really care for these lockets. They're okay, but whatever. So, Glaive of the Guild Pack. Artifact. Beacon Bolt. I'm going to put the in. We've got Flight of Equinauts. 
And our rare whoosh, is Bounty Assault. Bounty Assault. So we'll go with, we'll go with that. We'll go with that rare. And that. Okay. So we got another pack of cards coming. Let's see here. Wow, that one had a split in it already. So that makes me wonder what's going on. Uh, okay. Well, we know there's a foil in that pack. So it's going to be Radical Idea, Ornery Goblin, another elephant. Okay, I think we can kind of just rush through these. Hmm. Threat Current, Iron Shell Beetle, Muse Drake, Gateway Plaza, and now we're to the Uncommon. So we've got Boris, Challenger, Crush Contraband, Okrin Assassin, and Mnemonic Betrayal, which is a Mythic. Exile all cards from all opponents' graveyards. You may cast those cards this term, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast those spells. At the beginning of your next end step, if there if any of those cards remain exiles, return them to the owner's graveyard. And then you exile Mnemonic Betrayal. Interesting. Interesting sorcery. And our foil is a frog. A blue frog. Great. All right, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. All right, and then we've got another pack. Let's see here. So far, I mean, two mythics, um, a shockland. I can't complain so far. I mean, I'm only not even through a good chunk of this box yet, so we'll, we'll try to keep the cards in the camera for you guys. All right, so we got intrusive pack beast, radical idea, goblin locksmith, loxodon restore, another elephant, some burglar rats. Wary O Copy or whatever, Siege Worm, a locket. Oh, this card. Yeah, this one, I, the art on this, I mean, who's not seen The Matrix by now? If you haven't seen The Matrix, I, I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm living under a rock or something weird, but I kid you not, this is definitely inspired by The Matrix. I mean, look at the, look at the art. I mean, you can see kind of, um, you know, like The Matrix Code, and she's in a goth uh, trench coat, and I, I love this card. Just the art on it. I mean, the card isn't that great, but you know what? The art on it's really cool. I gotta admit, I was like thrilled about that. All right, we got a split card on the uncommon slot. We're gonna say that. We got a Sphinx, a Glow Spore Shaman, and our Mythic, or Mythic is no, it's just a rare, um, Erratic Cyclops. Trample. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, Erratic Cyclops gets plus X plus zero until end of term, where X is that spell's converted mana cost. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. That's cool. And another guild gate. I think every pack now, instead of a regular land, gets a guild gate, which is kind of cool and all. I, I won't complain about that, but at the same time, I'm thinking to myself, um, well, what else? It's just, it comes in and play tap. So, I mean, there's a billion lands that are, or a billion land cards and, and things that are better than that. So let's run through these uh, commons real quick. I won't waste too much time on these anymore. So I think we've got the hey another one of these cards. I just just because the art, I'm I'm totally down with the art because I love the Matrix. It's an amazing movie. Really, really lots of interesting deep concepts in that movie. All right, so we've got Night Vale Predator, Undercity Necrolisk, City Watch Sphinx, and. Whoosh, uh, uh, a faceless person. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Unmoored Ego. So apparently this rare. Uh, choose a card name. Search target opponent's graveyard, hand, and library for up to, f up to four cards with that name and exile them. That player shuffles their library, then draws a card for each of the exiled cards exiled from that each of each card exiled from their hand this way. Wow. Okay. Kind of neat. I mean, if you're playing in a standard format or a modern or something, and somebody's got four copies of the thing, I suppose that's a good way to really keep one of their like infinite combos from going off or something. If you can get that that off. All right. So next pack, we've got just commons. I'm just gonna run through these real quick. I mean, obviously, we know what the deal is with the commons. Uh, Lava Coil. Lava Coil deals 4 damage to target creature. If that creature would die this turn, exile it instead. Uh, we've got Hellkite Whelp. 
Okay, a little Hawkeye guy. Another flip card, or excuse me, a two for card. Surveil to then draw a card. Each opponent requires a non land, returns a non land permanent they control with the highest converted mana cost among permanents they control to its owner's hand. Then discards a card. Okay, and uh, the rare is oh, actually a mythic rare. Third mythic rare. Good stuff. Um, Hexproof. Uh, his name is Nullhide Ferox. Okay, Hexproof. You can't cast non creature spells. Why would you do this? I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, you pay two. He loses all his abilities until end of turn. Any player may activate this ability. If a spell or ability of opponent controls causes you to discard him, put it onto the battlefield instead of putting it into the graveyard. Well, that's kind of neat, but if you're playing any green deck that has any sort of, like, ramp cards, why would you... You got this guy out, you really can't play, like, I don't know. I mean, that's a kind of janky Mythic Rare, in my opinion, but it's like you can't play Harrow or Cultivate or anything. Instance, why? I, I don't get her enchantments. I don't think that card's going to get much play, but maybe there's a format of only creatures that'll play it. All right, so we're going to go and run through these commons and commons and commons. Up, oh, all right. So we now have... Uh, Uncommons, so we've got Guild Summit. Guild Summit enters the battlefield. You may tap any number of unmapped, untapped gates you control. Uh, draw a card for each gate tapped that way. So you're playing a gate deck, I suppose that's the thing. Uh, target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from it. That player discards that card. Cool. Uh, Wand of Vertebrae. All right, then. Put the top card of your library into your graveyard. Uh, exile Wand of Vertebrae, shuffle up to five target cards from your graveyard into your library. Alright then. And our rare is Citywide Bust. Destroy all creatures with toughness four or greater. This is probably a good card for Commander, just by the sake of the fact that most people are pay playing creatures that have usually a four or greater toughness in Commander that I've seen. Unless they're doing like a an Elf Ball deck or something where they're just pumping out like little soldiers or Elf tokens or something. So, let's see what we've got here. Unexplained Disappearance. Uh, again, these are all commons. I think we've taken a look at all these already. Um, we've got Whispering Snitch. Whenever you surveil for the first time each turn, Whispering Snitch deals one damage to each opponent and you gain one life. This surveil um, rule or mechanic now in this, in this set is interesting, I guess. Uh, in that, um, I guess you can look at your library and discard into the graveyard to see if you can get something that you really want try to speed up your ability to get to your win con or some crazy thing like that so there's one of our that's our um uh, uncommon again mentor the mentor ability also allows of course when uh, this creature attacks put a plus one plus one counter on target attacking creature with lesser power kind of cool uh, Night of Autumn. That is really pretty art. I've seen this card. I already looked on the spoilers online, but I've seen this art. It's it's really pretty. And we obviously have a foil coming. What is it? It is a fairy wizard. We Dragonauts! We We Dragonauts! We That's kind of cute, actually. That's a cute card. Funny. It's cute. All right, let's go on to the next pack. I will try to speed things up here so we can get through this in a timely fashion. So I'm going to go ahead and just check right through the commons. And there's our uncommons. We've got Beam Splitter Mage, Conclave, Conclave Guild Mage, Rampaging Monument. And oh, we got another, another, another Shockland. All right, we're going to go ahead and set that guy where he needs to go. Oh, geez, I want to try to keep this in the camera, don't I? Sorry about that, guys. Uh, is it Gilgate? Whatever. Who cares? Alright, let's keep on going. I, mean, I watch some of these videos now on, on YouTube for the magic stuff, and some of these guys, I'm like, I, they, I, I don't know how they get that kind of money. I, I'm, I'll see them open things that are, from what I gather, thousands and thousands of dollars. And I'll think to myself, what do you do for a living where you can afford to buy a box of beta or legends or something just crack it and just to do that that's your that's your thing and i'm thinking to myself you must be like hey a foil rare it's tagic he's foil and he's shiny 
So shiny. Okay. Well, Tajik has haste. He's got that mentor ability where that boosts, uh, bolsters another creature. Uh, with Tajik, you can prevent all non-combat damage that would be dealt to other creatures you control. That's kind of useful. Keeps things from being bolted or zapped. Uh, you can pay a red and a white. And Tajik, Legion's Edge, gains first strike till end of turn. This guy's been getting leveling up as uh, these cards have been coming out for a while. I think he was first appeared in the original Ravnica. I don't know if I'm correct. And he, what was it? Uh, Return to Ravnica. And now we're back to Ravnica and the guilds thing. And that's a, that's a deal. Alright, so we'll wipe out those commons. Uh, we got Price of Fame. Is our uncommon. Uh, looks pretty useful if you're destroying legendaries. Uh, another one of these dual cards. I don't use these very often. I do have one in one deck, but okay. Deafening Clarion. Choose one or both. Deafening Clarion deals three damage to each creature. Creatures you control gain lifelink until end of turn. Pretty cool. All right. That's, that's neat. All right, next one is, well, so far, two Shocklands is not bad. I would love to get all five Shocklands in one box. That would be incredible. Is there any of me, those? Let's just wipe out those commons. Oh, there's a foil back there. Uh, and there's our uncommons. Uh, Conclave Tribunal, Golgari Raiders, Enhanced Surveillance. I may look at, I may look at an additional two cards each time I surveil with enhanced surveillance. If I exile this, I shuffle my graveyard into my library. That's kind of cool. It's a good way to get some card draw. Quad, quad duplicate. Quasi duplicate. Okay, I can say this word. Uh, create a token that's a copy of a target creature control. I have a wizard deck that might put that in. And we've got a foil card. Okay. All right, we'll move on to the next pack. I'm gonna go ahead and try to breeze through all these ones. I'm just going to go and we're just going to get rid of all those commons and we got another side-by-side -side card. Let's see what it does. And then we've got Sinister Sabotage, uh, Sto Swath Cutter Giant, and Hatchery Spider is the rare. Okay, whatevs. And then of course another Gilgate. All right. You know, in the comments, so much to think about this set. I'm really curious. Uh, this is the third time that Ravnica has been a thing. Um, so maybe third time's a charm. Uh, some of the cards are okay. I can see how they could be used in um, a variety of different formats. I mostly play Commander. I have one modern deck, but it isn't that good uh, compared to what other people can afford to build. In oh, hey! First Planeswalker. Vraska Golgari Queen. How about that, huh? So we can see what Vraska does. Uh, you may sacrifice another permanent if you do gain one life and draw a card. Destroy target non-land permanent with converted mana cost three or less. Uh, if I negative nine, I get an emblem with whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, that player loses the game. <laughs> well then, okay. Uh, well, that's, that's crazy. You lose the game. That's it. Game over. You're done. I suppose I could put that in my Super Friends deck. Uh, that would be interesting. How see how that if that plays out at all. All right, so let's get let's see our okay. So Swarm Guildmage, Grap, Grappling Sundew, We Dragonauts. I love that. And a weird land. I read this land before when I got my um, pre-release pack, and I was like, huh? Okay. That's I suppose that could be useful in different situations. So, what else? We're doing good there. Keep on going here. There's a lot of booster packs in a box, so let's see what we got here. We're just going to pound out those uh, commons, and we got another Beacon Bold. Affectionate Indrik. Uh, I have no idea what's going on here in this artwork. I guess he looks like he's going to get pushed off the wall or something, but what else? And we got Risk Factor is the rare. Okay, what else? Uh, we're going to keep going. I said what ifs. How about that? Huh? Sometimes I make myself laugh. Okay, so we got this, 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 this. Whatever. Who cares? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, we've seen that one already. Another flip card. Bulgari flip card. Uh, Gird for battle. Another a rare flip card. Turn up the two. Okay, what ifs? 
and a common foil. All right, let's go for some more shocks. We got some, we're doing pretty good on Mythics. I did get um, some good cards out of the set so far. So, you know, I mean, as far as value goes, I think this is set's going to have some good value cards in it for people that are looking, uh, you know, keep them for that purpose. I do keep some for value. I have some really pretty ones that I hold on to. Another one of these, side by side. Connive and Concoct. In control of target creature with power two or less, surveil three, then return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay, whatevs. All right, and then, all right. I, you know, this one feels so weird to like open these with the, with the gloves on. I, I don't know how, why. I think the guy just does it because he doesn't want to lower the value of his cards because he buys such expensive stuff. Although I saw him open something that was recent. I'm like, okay, whatevs. I don't know the guy's name, but he opened boosters. And that's kind of cool. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Kinda cool. Hey, I love this card. This card is so useful. Chromatic Lantern, I need that for a um, commander deck. So I'm happy. I am definitely happy with that rare. I will definitely put that to good use. You know, I'm sure if you've been playing Magic a while, Chromatic Lantern has been around at least 10 years. I think it might be watching this. And probably knows what it is, I would imagine. If you're into magic. And there's our commons. Fire Mines Research. So Niv Mizzet is doing some crazy experiments. Yeah, maybe you can hang out with the laboratory maniac or something and, and create some kind of, you know, what the heck. All right, so next pack we've got, these are all our commons. Okay, Rock Charger, Cackling Drake. Oh, God, look at that bug. Huge bug eyes. Okay. Um, runaway Steam Can. All right. What else? Uh, let's keep going. We got... All righty. All right, we've got... What are we getting here? Gatekeeper Gargoyle. Another freaking Gargoyle card. These are never really that good. I, I You know, I maybe there's a, gar a good Gargoyle card out there, but most of them, in my experience, aren't that great. So, Light of the Legion uh, has flying. It's an angel. Uh, Mentor. We already talked about Mentor earlier. Bolster another creature. When Light of the Legion dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on each white creature you control. I suppose that's pretty good for, um, you know, a white, uh, I guess a white mono white deck or anything that you're running a lot of white little creatures and you want to make them bigger. I think there's some better cards than that out there, but hey, what, what do I know? All right, so we've got Night Veil Sprite, Might of the Masses, and Circuitous Route, and our rare is Gruesome Menagerie. Gruesome. Zombie hands coming out of the ground. Good stuff, right? Okay, next pack. Let's see here. All righty, so we're going to go ahead and do this and that and this and okay. All right, today on Epsilon Investments, we have a Goblin Crater Maker. He's worth five cents. <laughs> anyway, uh, Inescapable Blaze. Arclight Phoenix. Another Mythic. I think that's what our fifth Mythic in this set? Fifth, five Mythics isn't bad. I mean, I'm not going to complain about that. One of them, you know, Planeswalker, and then the other ones are. I don't know about that one Mythic. I didn't think that thing was ever that good, but I don't know. Maybe there's a way to use that in a deck. I don't really know about i guess mo mono creatures <laughs> just run only creatures no spells i don't know anybody that does that, does that kind of deck but ionize counter target spell ionize deals two damage to that spells controller i suppose that could be annoying you know a control deck or whatever all right so let's see if we can wrap up our box of cards we've got let's see we got all this going on I uh, got that, we got that. Uh, we've got Sunhome Stalwart, and our rare is the Beast Whisperer. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. That looks really useful, especially in a commander deck. I could see that getting a lot of use eventually. And oh, we got a foil, but it's just a common. It's a upon. What else? All right, let's move on to the next cards. And we're going to see what we got in here. All right, so... I did not go to Hose Town on this box, Rudy. I don't know what you're, you're thinking, but I don't think this is a Hose Town box. All right, so Murmuring Mystic, League Guild Mage, 
and a pilfering imp and a chamber sentry. All right. Um, and then we're almost done. I only have three packs left. Let's make it a legendary close. Uh, okay, we know about commons. We don't care about those anymore. Uh, Conclave, Cavalier, Glaive of the Guild Pack. I already got that. Goblin, Banneret, and the Pelt Collector. He's pretty cool. Whatever another creature you control enters the battlefield or dies, if that creature's power is greater than Pelt Collector, put a plus one, plus one counter on Pelt Collector. As long as Pelt Collector has three or more plus one, plus one counters on it, it has trample. Kind of cool. I can see him getting used. I did look up the price of that guy. I think he's actually worth something. You know, he's actually not, not dirt cheap. So, you know, maybe there's a deck somebody's trying to run with that guy. Um, okay. Crawl Harpooner, Crush Contraband, Orc Okrin Assassin, and our rare is Ritual of Soot. Ritual of Soot. Like, why would anyone have a Ritual of Soot? I have no idea, but hey, it's a magic card. And then we've got Arboretum Elemental as our foil, and the usual gates and a token. Who cares? All right, so now we are down to our last two packs. Please tell me there's going to be something amazing in here. Uh, but the de this has been a pretty good box opening. I got to admit, there's some good stuff I got out of here. And our rare is Camaraderie. I gain X life and draw X cards, where X is the number of creatures I control. Creatures I control get plus one, plus one, so end of turn. All right, cool. Last pack. Last pack of Guilds of Ravnica. What do you think's in here? Is it going to be a mythic? Is it going to be a foil mythic? Could you imagine? Imagine that that would be the most amazing close ever of all time, right? I think Wizard would make a box like that for people to do open these things on, on YouTube or something. You would think they would do that. Boros Challenger, another one of these side-by-side -side cards. City Watch Sphinx again, and Dawn of Hope. Whatever I get in life, I may pay two. If I do, I can draw a card. Or I can pay uh, a white and three colorless. Create a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token with lifelink. And that's it. That is the close. That is an entire box of Guilds of Ravnica. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me crack it, destroy it, crush it, and kill this box of cards. You know, if you have any questions or would like to make comments on Guilds of Ravnica, you feel free to do that in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys say about this set. Um, you know, I'll be opening up some more more boosters, opening boosters. I will just open all my boosters. But I probably won't wear the gloves next time. I just thought it was funny because the one guy that does it, uh, I just, every time I see him, like, is he... Did you just come back from surgery or did you just, just come back from the, the hospital or something? I'm like, eh, what else? Hey, everybody's got their thing. So I think it's cool. But in anyway, uh, you, we got to admit there's some good stuff in here. Um, you know, I, I, I won't complain about, you know, something like that. A shock land, very useful. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching my videos. Bye-bye now.